if you want to build an AI agent in Slack, you need a custom Slack bot. So that's exactly what we're going to set up today. Now, I already showed you how to create an AI agent in make.com, but what I didn't cover was the custom Slack bot behind it. So in this video, I'll show you how to spin up a custom Slack bot and then connect it to our existing AI agent in make.com. By the end, you'll have your very own Slack AI agent chatting away. Let's jump in. Now, if you're not familiar with Make's new AI agent feature, it's very similar to any other AI agent feature that is out there. The idea is you have an AI agent connected to some type of chat service or some way that users can message the AI agent. And it listens and you configure the AI agent to do some specific tasks or functions. And then the agent decides if it should do one of those tasks. So for example, the one I created in my previous video about connecting Slack to an AI agent with make.com, I created two simple sub agents or sub scenarios or functions or modules, tools, whatever you want to call them that I gave access to this AI agent. And if you haven't seen that video, go check that one out because it is a full walkthrough step-by-step -step from scratch but we allow it to create a new content idea and also we allow it to add a new prospect to our Notion database. And let me show you what this looks like in practice. First, I'll make sure I have the scenario turned on. So it's turned on, it's listening. I've already configured Slack to listen to the channel and respond. And what I'm gonna do is walk through how it's set up now and then I'll walk through connecting it to Slack from scratch, which is a big piece that I missed from my last video. So this is a new Slack channel that I created pretty much just for this tutorial. So we'll run through uh, what it looks like. I've already connected it and then I'll reconnect it to a Slack, uh, this actual Slack bot and show you how to connect your Slack instance to work with the AI agent. Currently I have the AI agent listening to this new channel and I can say, hey, AI agent, what can you do for me? And we get our little googly eyes. That means that the AI agent is thinking about it and it replies. You can see that it replies as myself. And that's not ex exactly what we want. We want to create a custom Slack app that has a logo and everything. So currently what this uh, AI agent that is pretending to be me replied as, it lets me know that I can do uh, create a content idea in Google Sheets or add a new prospect within a Notion database. So this is super cool. Now I'm gonna run you through how to connect your Slack instance to the AI agent and then also create a custom Slack bot so it's not just responding as yourself. So let's get over to our app section. And within Slack, there's a bunch of apps you can create. The idea is we'll create a new Slack app that's private. There's a lot of steps you can do to create a public app if you need to, but for the moment, we'll just do a private one and you can always make it public and go through the process of making it public. So we can jump to the Slack marketplace and this is one way to get there. You can also just go to the URL and we want to choose the workspace you're in, go to build and go to your apps. You can also just go to api.slack.com forward slash apps and also get there. This is my last Slack AI agent I had created, Slack bot I had created, and we're going to create a new one. So go to create a new app from scratch and give it some cool name, super AI agent. Sounds neat. And you choose your workspace. We'll do our new workspace that I just created for HyperEdge. And that's about it. You're done. Not actually. So you can see it created a client key or a client secret, client ID, and some other information some display information, which we'll update here in a second, and then a bunch of other information over here and features that you can run through. My goal is really just to show you how to connect the thing. And if you wanna have it go public, which is a lot of what this does and have permissions, you can always go deeper in it, but mainly we wanna get it connected because it's actually quite annoying to get this Slack bot connected to make.com. So first let's go ahead and give it a short description fill in a lot of this metadata at an app icon and yes i'm using a similar picture of me but this one has sunglasses digital sunglasses so it makes it even cooler you can see that it's different and then let's do a different color nice and pink and obviously you can add more metadata if you want to do a long description but we'll leave it at that and that's pretty much the bot side of things and then let's go and actually connect our ai agent so again this scenario is free i have the export from the blueprint you can export it download it and then run through this video to actually connect it if you want to play with it 
So I'm going to run through actually reconnecting this. If you were to start this from scratch, this would just be blank, or you might have one of your other webhooks in here that might show up if you happen to have one. But I'm going to run it through like reconnecting the whole process to make. So let's do my new AI agent webhook. And we'll do an event type. You can really choose whichever channel type you want or what it's listening to. So this is really gonna listen for something to happen. So if you wanna listen for every time there's a new reaction, every time there's a new file uploaded, uh, or specific like a channel, private channel, I am, whatever you want. We're just gonna do the new channel message because we have that specific like new channel specifically for it. And then connection wise, we have to do a new connection. I actually just delete this connection so I could show you what it looks like to connect it. So that's why it was airing. And this is pretty straightforward. We're just gonna do, you know, new uh, hyper edge slack user connection. And this one is fine to do the user connection because this will give you the permissions based on whatever user you're logged in as. So you just have to make sure you have permission on Slack to actually connect it. And then that pops up in a pop-up and I just moved it over here so you could see it, but it really just asks you to connect. So you're going to give it permission, click allow, and that should be it. We hop back over, refreshing. And there we go, now we have access to our channels. We'll choose new channel. And what this means is we just set up a webhook. So every time there's a new message within the new channel, the scenario will be triggered and it will perform whatever actions we have within the scenario. So we'll save it. That's pretty much it. So now we can click save. And usually what I like to do is let's unlink some of this stuff and just make sure that it's connected and working properly. So I'm gonna click run once just so we can watch it. And then let's come over to our channel over here and do a new test. Hello world. And jump back over here and it ran. And I uh, closed it off and I'm sure I have some air since I switched things around with the connection. But in general, it listened and it accepted the hello world message that came in. So we can see our message came in, hello world which is right here. Now I will point out, sometimes I've had connection issues. So if you try this based on just doing that and you have an issue, you can come over to connections and you should be able to find your connection to whatever uh, Slack connection you have. And if you click reauthorize, this I found gives a bunch more permissions. And I did run into an issue where I tried to um, run it directly from the instance here after connecting it directly in here with the webhook and it didn't have all the permissions. So I came over here, I click reauthorize. When you click this, it has a pop-up, ask for a few more permissions, and then I came back and it worked just fine. So a bit of a pro tip. Cool, so now we have it connected and listening. Now let's go through the process of actually having the bot respond and creating the Slack bot. So what all I need to do is update these connections to make sure that they are pointed to our new Slack connection save it and then we might as well go and hook these up so let's hook these up and then the ai agent all should be fine from our last video that i had and the final step is actually to switch this to our new slack bot now this current connection you can see is set up as a user which is the default setup now if we want to switch to a slack bot which is way cooler we can switch the connection type to bot and we can have it be what, you know, name it whatever you want. Should just call it new so we know which one we're looking at. And the trick is we have to do advanced and this is where we get our client ID and our client secret. Let me, get, let me just prove my face. There you go, now you can see. And this is where we're gonna come over from our app that we created earlier, grab our client ID, throw it here, grab our client secret, throw it in here. Save and that almost will make it work. So let me show you the pop-up that just popped up here. It was this pop-up right here. And this is one of the tricky parts. It requires that you add a redirect URI to your Slack bot. Now this seems more tricky than it is. And I actually did have to do a bunch of digging to figure out where this goes. So your next pro tip is to add our 
permissions for that redirect URI. So if you go into OAuth and permissions over here, and there's a redirect URL section, you're gonna add new, throw in the redirect URI that popped up. And you don't actually have to add the Slack three, you can just do the base URL with maybe the first, you might actually just be able to do the base. I'm not sure how far you need to go, but I didn't include the, the Slack three. So let's add it. And then we should be able to try again. Again, let me move my face. Try save this time. And that did it that time. So let me show you what the pop-up looks like. And we need to install the bot. So the last step is to configure the bot to actually be installed within our app. So if we go over to settings, go install app, and then we can see that we need to set some permissions. So we go to permission scope. Then we just need to add scopes to our app to give it permission to do things. So the two we need to add are chat, be able to chat right, and incoming webhook. And these should cover it. So we'll give it a test and see. And I think they're saved. So now we have our installed HyperEdge, which is great. Click install to HyperEdge, and we should be good. So this is actually installing the app. Again, it's not a public app, it's private, but it allows us to actually install the app on some type of channel. So now we choose a new channel and click allow, and now we have permissions on what we can do. So it's send messages as super AI agent and actually um, view the webhooks. So let's click allow. And after this, our install app page should look a little different. Yeah, so remember before it just had an uh, install button and it didn't let us do anything. It's to go to the permissions page. Now we actually have a installed app setting along with our like webhook URL and our auth tokens. And now we should actually be able to run this thing. Let's come over and create the new connection. We want to do the bot. Let's go back to Slack bot connection. And now we can enter our client ID in secret. If you remember, they're back in the client ID section. And I'll remove my face so you can see a little better. And look at that. Now our pop-up actually has our AI agent image. This could be any logo you up upload. And now it has our permissions that we set within our scope. So now we can click allow and we should be in business. And there we go. It verified. We're now connected to our HyperEdge Slack bot. And we can now post as our Slack bot. So let's give it a shot. So we just need to reconfigure some of the channel ID and messages. The channel comes back from our original channel message. The text is our response back from our AI agent. And you can get super fancy if you want to use blocks within the chatbot. It's actually really cool. You can do as a block builder within Slack and you can do very custom responses if you want to. Um, and this would be actually super cool, but we're not going to do that. Then I need to throw the thread message ID back in, which is the timestamp from the original message. And I think that covers it all. So now let's save and see if we actually get it to respond as our Slack bot, which would be super cool. Let's come over to our channel, go back to our new channel, and let's just ask it the original question. Oh yeah, look, so we actually added the bot down here. So it said added integration, so our super AI agent, as well as our super AI agent. So hard to say, super AI agent as one of our apps, which is really cool. And you do have to add it to a channel. So you have to make sure that if you wanted to talk to a new channel, you said to make sure you add that app to that channel, otherwise it won't actually discover it. Let's send a message and see if we get a response from our new bot. Hey, AI agent, what can you do for me? We got our eyeballs that lets us know it's thinking. And there we go. Look at that. Yes, it's another picture of me, but it's with me with digital sunglasses. So that means it's our AI agent responding. So we can see our super AI agent responded. And now we're in business. Now, once you're connected with our super AI agent, you can obviously change the picture, change the name, go more sophisticated and make it public if you want to. If you continue blowing this out, you could continue adding more features to your AI agent to do multiple things within Slack. The sky's the limit on this. Or you can just have it do silly things. Tell me a joke. Let's see what joke we got. Sure, here's one. 
why did the computer go to the doctor? Because it had a virus. But they brought a smile to your face. Wow, thanks, super AI agent. That was great. And if you got value from this, please like, subscribe, and check out my next video.